Okay, today, not today, but over the last two weeks, I've been rebuilding the top end of this bike. Uh, put new piston rings in it, pulled the head apart, cleaned the valves, put new seals in it. It's my first four stroke rebuild. And now I'm about to start it. All right. Here we go. I'm just going to check, recheck the fluids and then take it for its first ride. Can I turn it off? Yeah, all that smoke is just all about everywhere. Yeah. Yeah.
I'll use some cheap um, car oil. 10W40, I think I used. 10W something anyway. Um, yeah, and I dumped that after about, oh, I went for a 10K ride. My spaz dog. Spaz dog, what are you doing? Yes, yeah, spaz dog. Um, yeah, I warmed it right up. Took it easy for about two minutes. Ran it through the gears. And then I fairly hard acceleration through the gears. Lots of deceleration. For say 10 Ks. And brought it back, let it cool down a bit, and went for another ride and ran it almost a hundred uh, revved it out like hard. Ran it hard. Through all the gears, accelerating, decelerating, lots of that. No constant revs. Then brought it back, dumped the oil, which was like water. You could tell it was cheap ass oil, but yeah, I suppose that's what they reckon you use. That's best to rip those ring seat. Get a good seal on them. And what are you doing? What are you doing? You're a spaz dog. You know that? Get off. Yeah, change your oil filter. Um, there was a minim minimal shavings. Not it was a bit, not much. You could see them gl glistening in the in the bottom of the dish. So then I um, put a new filter in, and I say to run non-synthetic oil again for say another I don't know another hundred or so k's. But I just, I just couldn't do it. The gears, it wasn't changing gears right with that shit oil. So I put the the recommended KTM oil, the Motor X in, full synthetic. And it's been going good. I went for a ride today on the track. Basically riding as normal. And it's running hard. It's going good. So, touch wood, those valves are okay. I'm going to probably do 100, 100, maybe 200 k's I'll do on this, um, on this uh, oil I've got in there now. And then I'll dump that oil and that's when I'll check the valves to see if there's any movement. So we'll see what happen if I did stuff the valves up by doing by lapping them which some say titanium valves should not be lapped others say it's fine as long as they haven't got a coating which these I did not have coating on them I asked the KTM's uh, mechanics they said no they're just pure titanium no no coating and you can lap them without any problems so let's hope so but I'll know pretty soon because apparently if you they did have coating and you've rubbed it and you've sanded it off they will disintegrate pretty quickly then I'm up for some new valves so I really don't want that it's only a year old this bike or a year and a half and they're supposed to be really good valves in this on these bikes. So I hope I haven't done anything. Anyway, it's running good, it's starting good, it's going nice. It doesn't look like it's dropping any oil by now. For that, that couple of hour, two hour ride I've been, that would have all the oil would already be gone out of that glass. You would not see that oil in the glass. And I don't think it's used a drop of oil. So thank you to I think it's Motorman. It was I went by his recommendations of doing a dry install. That means no. When I put the piston in and rings, didn't oil them at all. Kept them completely dry. Kept the cylinder dry. Just a touch, touch of oil at the bottom of the cylinder just to get the piston in. But other than that, total, total dry. And ran the 
non-synthetic oil for the first 20 mile or 30k and I ran it hard which goes it all goes against the grain all opposite of what, what I usually used to do anyway I haven't done this for a long time but that's why I used to smother everything in oil and take it really easy I reckon it's the worst thing you can do for it and so far going by what's happened with this bike I say that is the way to go dry install run it in hard so hopefully things keep going well and I will make another video very soon bye bye alright so today I'm doing the second oil change did the first oil change at 82.6 hours so it's like half hour after um, or a bit more it did 50 k's on it did the first oil change second oil change I'm doing at 86.1 at 2744 k's so I've done a 144 k's since the rebuild and I've done say four what's that four three three point three and a half hours or something say three and a half hours of riding and I'm doing the second oil change now and it's still pretty clean and there's the old oil filter no, I wouldn't say it's old it's only like four hours of oil there's nothing on it no crap on there, no metal shavings, nothing. Looks clean as a whistle. It's a shame to throw it out, but I won't. Okay, so I'll just put oil back in it, filter back in, and then I'll check the clearances. Now I've just emptied the oil out, I'm just checking for any shavings. I can see a few little shiny bits in there but minimal very little metal shavings what like, like oh, a bit less less than the first oil dump so it's normal now I'll change the filter, put a ring back in, and I will check the all-important valve clearances. That's what I'm really interested to see. And I've just pulled the plug, and it's looking good. Look at that. It's not black and oily anymore. It's got a nice colour to it. So I'd say all is well. Alright, so about to check the valve clearances. So again you have to take the seat off, tank off, undo this little clip thing here. Undo these three bolts, take the spark plug out, and this will just slide out. Oops, don't get any dirt in there. Make sure she's all nice and clean. talk anything I don't think you need to cam chains tight just got to get at the top dead center again you line up the two marks all right that looks 
looks good. Let's top that center now. Few of those is. and we'll go from there. Okay, the time has come to measure the valve clearances. I'll start off with this one that's closest to the bottom clearance, which is the left intake, which was 0 0.10. Let's see if it's moved. 0 0.10. Ah, uh, where are we? Left, left. Please fit. Yep, goes in. Yeah, that's a bit bigger. So that's the same. Point one one. Now let's go to the exhaust. Exhaust. side was a 13. It's bigger than a 12. Hasn't moved. Try the right exhaust at 13. No, so that stayed at 12. Okay, that fits. That's 12. The right exhaust, hang on. Yeah, right exhaust is 12. Well, looks like all is good. All my valves have stayed in spec. They haven't actually moved. Actually, the left, the, in, two, the two intake valves actually went out one point on the good side. Whether I didn't measure them right when I first, when I was installing it. I don't know, but um, I was worried they were going to drop because I did lap the titanium, they are titanium valves and I did lap them and they actually more in spec now than they were when I first measured so exhaust valves haven't moved so that's like what, 150 k's nearly three, three and a half hours I think Four hours of riding. I would say if I fucked up the valves by lapping them, I'd say I would know by now. Most people who say you can't do them uh, reckon they disintegrate in a couple of rides and they're gone. So they would have dropped by now. Well, they would have moved out of spec anyway. So all's looking pretty good. Um, not to say you should go out and 
touch your titanium valves or sand them, but um, the ones with coating, the coated ones, I don't think you should touch. But if they're if you've got titanium valves or and they're not coated and they're in a bad way, or you want to get a good seal to them, I don't know I did it and all's going well. Bike is running hard and all's good. Touch wood. So I put it back together and that's it. Till the next oil. I won't even bother. I'll check the probably check the valves on the next oil change in 10 hours. See what happens. But I'd say it's all going to be good for now. So that was my top end rebuild and head service. So over and out.